2017 must seem like a long time ago. Of course, that was the first year that President Trump was in office. And we saw markets here really characterized as steady, that slow uh, move upwards, less volatile rallies. People were actually complaining um, about the lack of volatility in 2017. We were talking about tax cuts uh, for corporations. We were also talking about the possibility of an infrastructure plan. And the markets liked all of that. Then, of course, the next two years have been very different. We are here looking at the MSCI All Country World Index and the S&P 500. You can see that 2017 steady rise, but then look what's happened in the last two years. It is a case then of be careful what you wish for because we should be able to show you a chart which shows the outsized moves. Here we are for the S&P 500. These are the daily moves since 2018 uh, through to 2019. And you can see we're back into that period of outside moves for the markets, both up and down into the green and into the red and this month perhaps has been the biggest expression of it I should be able to bring you up here this is stocks and bonds in the US uh, since uh, that August 1st tweet that we had from President Trump where he said he was putting uh, tariffs on Chinese goods we've of course then had a number of tweets back and forth across the course of this month perhaps changing course or signaling different positions uh, when it comes to trade and what we have seen then as John authors points out in his latest column is that stocks and bonds have moved in tight correlation with each other, moving up and down in response to all the latest Twitter action from the president's Twitter feed.